Manuelito, a well-known Navajo war leader, was born in 1818 in the southeast Utah region of Bears Ears Peak. He belonged to the Bitaani, or Folded Arms People Clan, and his father, Cayetano, was a respected leader known for his opposition to foreign encroachment. His Spanish name translates to Little Manuel, but among non-Navajo he became known as Bullet Hole. Manuelito later relocated to Arizona, where he joined Chief Narbona's group and married Narbona's daughter. He admired Narbona's brave demeanor, although his father-in-law also emphasized the importance of peace alongside war. Standing over six feet tall, Manuelito was determined to become a war leader and engaged in his first battle at Narbona Pass in 1835 when Navajo were under attack by 1,000 Mexicans from New Mexico. Emerging victorious, the Navajo bestowed upon him the title Hashke Naba, which means angry warrior. Over the next few years, Manuelito led several raiding teams heading up against not only the hated Hopi in Arizona, the Puebloan peoples of New Mexico, the Ute, the Comanche, and the Apache, but also other guerrilla leaders such as Ganado Mucho and Barbanchito. In November 1846, he was among 14 Navajo chiefs who signed the Bear Springs Treaty, marking the first of nine treaties he would eventually endorse. Nonetheless, the treaty failed to quell the ongoing conflict between the Navajo, New Mexicans, and newly arrived white settlers. By 1860, the U.S. military, Mexican Americans, the Zuni, and the Ute tribes were launching raids into Navajo territories. In response, Chiefs Manuelito and Barbanchito, along with 1,000 Navajo warriors, launched an attack on Fort Defiance, Arizona, on August 30, 1860. They nearly captured it, but faced with superior firepower, they were forced to retreat. This event prompted the U.S. Army to adopt a policy of total war against the Navajo. Colonel Edward Canby and his troops embarked on a campaign in early October, resulting in the deaths of 23 Navajo and the destruction of Navajo livestock and crops over the following months. In the autumn of 1862, Major General James H. Carleton arrived in the New Mexico Territory and devised a plan to bring the Navajo under control and relocate them to a reservation known as the Bosque Redondo in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. Thousands of Navajo began the long walk to the Bosque Redondo Reservation in 1864 after turning themselves in at military forts in New Mexico by the following year. Although Manuelito held discussions with officials at Fort Defiance, he and others refused to relocate to Fort Sumner. Instead, they gathered numerous Navajo and sought refuge in the mountain strongholds of western New Mexico. In 1863, U.S. forces led by Kit Carson launched a massive campaign against the Navajo, forcing them from their lands by decimating their sources of sustenance. Carson's troops slaughtered livestock, contaminated water sources, set fire to crops and fruit trees, and raised Navajo structures. About 8,000 Navajo were rounded up after the Battle of Canyon de Chelly in January 1864, and they began the long walk to the Bosque Redondo in March. However, Manuelito and roughly 4,000 of his people remained absent from the roundup. They engaged in guerrilla warfare from their mountain hideouts, while Carson continued to hunt wild game capture horses, and devastate crops. By the fall of 1866, Manuelito and his followers were facing starvation and eventually surrendered. They were subsequently transported to the Bosque Redondo as well. Throughout the years of captivity, Manuelito provided steadfast support and motivation to his people, dedicating much of his time to urging the government to permit their return to their ancestral land. Conditions at the reservation were dire prompting Manuelito and several other leaders to journey to Washington, D.C. in the spring of 1868 to plead their case before the government for a new reservation. Through his persuasive efforts, Manuelito successfully advocated for their cause, leading to the Navajos being granted permission to relocate to a new reservation in their traditional homeland by that fall. Upon returning home, Manuelito was appointed as the leader of the tribal police. In his later years, he promoted education among his people, aiming for a better quality of life for them. Throughout his life, Manuelito reportedly had four wives, with his final spouse being named Juanita. He passed away in 1893 due to complications from measles compounded by pneumonia.